Yay! We are officially less than a week until Thanksgiving. And as I've said repeatedly, I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday because it's not about commercialism. It's not about buying this. It's not about um, giving that. It's not about anything other than celebrating love, your loved ones, what you're thankful for. It is honestly what helps me and helps me with my anxiety every morning, exhausted as I am, stressed as I might be about the day to come. I wake up with gratitude in my heart. I have so much, I have so much to be thankful for and I'm excited to celebrate with my three kids and a half, including my mom and with my sister and with my best friend. I can't wait and I'm excited to stuff my face and I'm excited to get right to it right now. There's so much to cover but I wanna start off with some really sad news. Rapper Lil Peep whom I only knew of because he dated Bella Thorne and also because he was openly bisexual, has passed away. He was just 21 years old. His manager says he died of a drug overdose. I pray, I pray. I only say the P word when it's something very serious, when I actually meditate, put that energy specifically of praying out there. I pray that my kids don't go down that path because there's nothing a parent can do. You can try, but at the end of the day, as strict as you may be, as you know, ult ultimatum giving as you may be, whatever you might do, the kids are the ones that are gonna decide if they're gonna continue using or not. But I did have a thought. Little Peep talked openly about drug use and promoted it almost on social media. If an artist has a hardcore drug problem and is glamorizing that, should the record label or should a TV show drop that artist? I say yes. Try to help that person and drop them. Because I think dropping them might actually be the best help you can give them. But let's move on. I don't want to linger on this too much. Let me talk about Kim Kardashian. A video I made two days ago uh, got a lot of attention in which I said that Kim Kardashian was wrong about surrogacy. Kim claimed that having a surrogate was harder for her than giving birth herself. I said she was wrong only because Women still die from giving birth. Women have complications from giving birth. I mentioned how my son's surrogate had complications. I forgot to mention exactly what that was. Um, she had bleeding because not all of the placenta came out. So she had to go into surgery immediately after giving birth. It was such a bittersweet day for me. And I understand, you know, Kim is filled with doubt and worry. And anyways, I still stand behind everything I said. But today, I want to actually defend Kim Kardashian. Yes. A lot of people were criticizing Kim K for not inviting her surrogate to her baby shower. Um, why would she? Why should she? It's not celebrating the surrogate, it's celebrating the baby that is to come and Kim is going to be the mother. The surrogate is not the surrogate mother. That's not the lingo that I use and other in the surrogacy community use. She's just the surrogate. She's not carrying her own egg. She didn't donate her egg. You know, maybe if, if the surrogate had donated her egg, then she would have been even more invested in this, but I don't think Kim should have, nor should people have expected her to invite the surrogate. Come on, people. Actually, speaking of surrogacy, I'm gonna get back to Kim K in a second. This uh, raised some red flags for me. Kenya Moore from The Real Housewives of Atlanta is trying to get pregnant. She's a, a little bit up there in age in her later 40s. And she has flown to Barbados for surrogacy treatment. Her team confirmed that. 
Why? I'm confused. Can anybody help me? Leave a comment. Explain to me. Is surrogacy cheaper in Barbados? Like, why would you go there to get done what you can do here? And we probably have better doctors here. And if it is cheaper in Barbados, is that something you want to do cheaply? Like, what if they don't do it? What if it's not successful there because they don't have as good doctors or whatever? I mean, or maybe the best doctors in the world are in Barbados in surrogacy, in in vitro. I don't know. Anyways, back to Kim K. That was a little aside. Y'all keep making Kim K rich. Kim K's new fragrances are almost all sold out and have only been on sale for a couple of days. According to information leaked by her team, Kim has made over $10 million selling her new fragrances. $10 million. I don't begrudge her that. I don't begrudge her that. Good on her. Hey, I want to be making that kind of money. <clears throat> All right, this next story shocked me and confused me and surprised me. And it involves people that I love. Ruby Rose, her girlfriend Jessica, and her girlfriend Jessica's twin sister, Lisa, who's also in the band The Veronicas with Jess. Jess and Lisa are The Veronicas. Ruby Rose is dating Jess. In Australia, they just voted the people there to legalize same-sex marriage, which is not official yet. There's one more step until that happens. But check this out. Ruby Rose put Jess's sister, Lisa, on blast. She said, so glad to see Lisa Origliasso screaming in excitement about the yes vote after telling us she thinks we should feel lucky we don't get stoned to death like they do in other countries and to get over it a few months ago. Really warms my heart. A few things here. That's kind of breaking an unwritten rule. Unless you're a Kardashian, you don't put your private family drama on public blast like that. I would never do that with my mom or my sister. And it's not like she's any sibling. She's in a band with her girlfriend. Does this mean the Veronicas are over? Probably not. You know, siblings fight all the time. I fight with my sister all the time. That's normal. What's not normal is what Ruby Rose did and she deleted the tweet. I think she understood it wasn't the appropriate thing to do, but you know, it just really surprised me that she went there and saddened me to see and hear that Lisa and Jess are fighting. I love the two of them. Maybe they've made up since then. I really hope so. I would hate for the Veronicas to be broken up. They make beautiful music and I love them. All right, now on to some drama from China. The Victoria's Secret Fashion Show is a damn mess this year, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, let me move this. I want this in. Wait, wait, wait. Don't fall. <laughs> Okay, there we, is that distracting or is that pretty? Oh, it's kind of dead, oh, dead flower. Oh, let me look at the pretty side. There we go, that's pretty. All right, now I'm gonna move this over here. That works. <laughs> All right, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show is a damn mess this year. Over four models, earlier this week, were denied visas to enter China. And now, Gigi Hadid mysteriously told her fans that she won't be going to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show this year. She said, quote, I'm so bummed I won't be able to make it to China this year. Love my VS family and will be with all my girls in spirit, blah, 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 blah. 
She had been previously announced and had revealed herself that she was going to go. Now she's not. Earlier this year, Gigi made a video that upset a lot in the Asian community for being insensitive. She slanted her eyes and has since apologized for that. That may have had something to do with the fact that she is not going to be in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Maybe the Chinese government did not grant her a visa like the other fours. They don't even need a good reason. China does not kid around. No jokes over there. In fact, things are so messy for the Victoria's Secret fashion show that even bloggers and journalists that were going to go and cover this show have been canceling their trip. And Taylor Swift was supposed to perform on the show. She pulled out, was replaced by Katy Perry, but Katy Perry may not be performing now after all. Drama! Speaking of drama, YouTube star Zoelle, oh fudge, <laughs> there you go, wait, this is so bougie, I think I'm going to have to buy myself, I don't know, I don't need to buy anything, I'm trying to be real cheap, I make it work, I make it work, you should see this, I literally have my phone, oh dang it, on my mom's. There you go. I have my phone on my mom's paper towel dispenser stand. You know, those, you put the paper towel on this thing and it does circles. I've got it on top, on top of the paper towel and I'm using it as a tripod. <laughs> Cause I'm cheap. If any tripod stand people wanna send me a free tripod, please do. I am not one of the top YouTubers. <laughs> I am not Zoella. Zoella is one of the top YouTubers. She's this British YouTuber, very popular, and in a lot of trouble this week. She is selling this advent calendar that is retailing for $50. Well, a lot of people went online and were talking some major smack about Zoella for price gouging gauging, dodging her fans. I was gonna burp. Price, dodging, gauging, oh, whatever the fuck, you know, charging too much. Anyways, she blamed it on the retailer. As a result of fans speaking up though, the retailer Boots in the UK has lowered the price by half. They were selling this lame advent calendar for $50. Speaking of Zoella, some old tweets of her have resurfaced in which she made very offensive comments, even homophobic ones. She has apologized for it, saying she would never speak that way now. And at the end of the day, all of this is good for her. Controversy equals more attention, more attention equals more views, more views equals more money for Zoella. Now I want your guys' help on this next story. Donald Trump has reversed an Obama era regulation which prohibited the importing of trophies from Africa. Like if you killed an elephant, you could have brought it back to America until Barack Obama said you can't do that anymore. Now, Donald Trump says you can bring an entire dead elephant back with you. And he claims that this is actually good for the economy in Africa and for the endangered species there. They say, quote, legal, well-regulated sport hunting as part of a sound management program can benefit the conservation of certain species by providing incentives to local communities to conserve the species and by putting much needed revenue back into conservation. I'm not even sure I have a very articulate stance on this because I could see both sides of 
the equation. I don't believe people should be hunting elephants, but then there's some people who say, you know what? I'm gonna eat that elephant. I'm gonna hunt an elephant and eat it. Okay, I can see that. You know, people hunt deer and eat it, so why can you hunt deer and eat it and not hunt an elephant and eat it? I mean, frankly, I'm not a fan of any hunting. I think that, you know, those that want to eat meat should eat meat, and I think that all meat should be raised and then dealt with as humanely as possible. I don't know how. I, I, I never want to watch any of those documentaries. I don't like knowing how I get my meat. I like meat, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoy a hamburger, I enjoy my chicken, I enjoy hot dogs, which is crap. I don't wanna know how it gets to my plate. I'm not a fan of hunting, but, but I don't think hunting should be outlawed, should it? I don't know. I don't think hunting should be outlawed, but I don't think that you should hunt or, or, or lions, like what, where do you decide what's appropriate or not to hunt? Like, okay, you can hunt deer, you can hunt um, fish, you know, you can hunt alligators, but you know, you can't kill that uh, ostrich. Like, I don't know, I don't know, it's, it's a slippery slope. I don't even have a real thought out opinion on that, but I do think that changing that rule that Obama had put into place is whack, as everything that Donald Trump does. Speaking of politicians, Al Franken has been accused of sexual misconduct, and there is photographic evidence of him groping a woman. Mom, I'm recording. <laughs> I told you. I'm sorry, I have to do my thing. I cannot wait. Let's go for the Um, Al Franken has been accused of groping a woman and there's photographic evidence. You know, some people may forget Al Franken began as a comedian and we know a lot of comedians are damaged and not funny. He claims he was trying to be funny, blah, 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 blah. I think it's lame. That's lame. More on that on my iPhone that started ringing and I was gonna blame my mom. <laughs> well, at least come say hi if you're here. Hi! No, come closer. Look, you, you match the flowers. You're wearing purple too. Oh, yes, I'm matching. You're, hi, everybody. Give me a kiss. Give me, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me another kiss. Have a wonderful day. Oh, Teddy wants to make a cameo too. Come here, Teddy. Come here, Teddy. Come here. Teddy, come here. Go, come. Say hi, Teddy. Beautiful, Teddy. All right. I think I'm going to be wrapping it up soon. <laughs> But before I do, I gotta mention Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone has also been accused of sexual misconduct. He is denying it. You can read all the details up on PerezHilton.com. Also, um, speaking of sex, I don't, I don't, I'm such a mess. Speaking of sex, There we go. Speaking of sex, um, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. Did this just flip on me now? Oh, I can't go this way now. Oh God. What happened? Is it? You don't know how to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sideways now, Mom. Oh. I should probably end, even though I had other things. Oh, whatever. Wait, I'll do it that way. I'll do it that way. Yes.
You gotta make it work. Wait, um, anyways. Um, <laughs> quickly, Mariah Carey has canceled some Christmas shows. Sending some positive vibes to Mariah. Also, <laughs> Halsey sending some positive vibes to Halsey. She had to cancel a show at the last minute due to a family emergency. Hopefully, it's nothing that serious. <laughs> this is a wild show, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you want to send me a tripod, my address is 8506 West 3rd Street. Number 101, Los Angeles, California, 90048. That's 8506 West 3rd Street, number 101, Los Angeles, California, 90048. I might as well just do it this way now. Um, yeah, what a show. <laughs> Thank you for watching and sticking through till the very end. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit the share button, comment, and if you're not following me, follow me. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> Bye!